This week on 3 Minute Thursday, I have to explain to you VPNs, private browsers, email, password managers, cloud storage, cryptocurrency, instant messaging, encrypted DNS, file encryption, file sharing, disk cleaners, photo storage. <gasps> but I'm gonna do it in under three minutes. Okay, it's really simple. Actually, if you wanna know about any of the things that I mentioned at the very start, you go here. This is privacytools.io. It's a really nice website. I've been using it for a long time and I just wanna show it to you because it covers all of those things that I mentioned. You can see here on the left, we've got this menu bar. It's huge. It's filled full of really juicy stuff. The things that I read out at the start are just these things in order. And if we go down to the bottom, there's even like encrypted notebooks, calendars, productivity tools, health, fitness, social networks, operating systems, etc. But this main page that you land on is probably one of the most important to start with. It lays out top 12 picks across a wide range of things. So desktop browsers, deleting your personal data off the market, VPNs, encrypted mail, 12 good tools to cover all your bases. And it even breaks down their criteria. So some of the requirements that they have to actually put these tools on here, it's not just willy nilly, as they say, plucked out of thin air or, you know, just whatever affiliate codes they could get, they're gonna promote those ones. So it covers open source, usability, active development, cross platform, the jurisdiction that the tools are in. Are they in the Five Eyes community? I used to be in the Five Eyes myself during my time in military intelligence. Five Eyes is UK, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all sharing super sensitive stuff. Have they been audited by a security audit? So if you see this little audited tag, it means that tool has been audited by an independent third party. Their business model, the test of time, and sponsorships. Then we got this bit on the warrant canary. You see, companies aren't allowed to say if the FBI has slapped them with a search warrant, but they can say that the FBI has not been here. We love a loophole in the law, right? So that's what a warrant canary is. And yeah, you get the idea. So it's a really nice website. If you don't know anything about these types of tools, you haven't a clue where to start. Maybe you've just heard about VPNs and you've seen some NordVPN advert. You can come here and you can read what these guys think about NordVPN and also its competitors. If we click on VPNs, it's the top result. Nord's on here, Surfshark Express, and then it tells you it's audited Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS. They accept Bitcoin for anonymity. <laughs> it works on TVs, that's cool. And consoles. Proton, that's the one that I use. Molvad, I've used them in the past. And then it goes into all the things about VPNs that you need to know. You can actually learn a lot from this website on all of these different things. Password managers, if we scroll down, it tells you all the things about password managers that you could ever want to know. So it does that for everything like encrypted DNS, boom, there it is. It's a really useful site. If you're new to all this privacy security game, if you're an investigator, if you're in cybersecurity, or if you're just a bit paranoid as maybe we should be, check it out. Links in the description. I'll see you next week.